Welcome back, everybody, to FTL. This is Dr. Hefe, and today we're going to be playing with a new cruiser, the Zoltan Cruiser. And unlike the Mantis Cruiser, I actually tried this one out, and it seems pretty straightforward. So hopefully there won't be any rocky starts. And since this ship is shielded so well, let's call it the Turtle. Of course, we gotta name our people after turtles. So how about the Terrapin? And the Tortoise. And my favorite turtle, the Koopa. All right, so let's start this up. As you see, we got our Zoltan shield. It shows up here with five green bars, so it's gonna keep us from taking damage for five, yeah, five pieces of damage. So let's move our men into weapons and shields. The unfortunate thing is that you start off with very little power. But hopefully, we'll find some people to kill, take their scrap, use it to upgrade our ship. Alright, here's our first one, some pirates. I asked for nothing. I didn't ask for any of this. These pirates are gonna die all the same. So remember with your halberd beam, you always want to make sure to cut across as many portions of the enemy ship as possible to maximize the damage being done. These guys are gonna be cut up real quick. The unfortunate thing about the Zoltan Cruiser is that the Zoltan Shield takes double damage from ion weapons. So if you're fighting an enemy ship with ion weapons, you can lose your shield very quickly. Then you will be at the mercy of their regular weapons. Alright, so we got some fuel, missiles, and some scrap. Alright, excellent. Let's upgrade some of that power. Let's keep my ship fully powered. Let's keep going through this system. Sector 1 should not be too much of a trouble. Uh oh. Why is this madman flying around a sun? And I won't be using missiles until later on against more difficult enemies. Trying to escape now, huh? Just ambushed me out of the sun and now you're trying to escape? What a jerk. Okay, let's see where this fire goes off. Not anywhere important, so it shouldn't be too damaging. Goodbye, enemy ship. Thanks for your guts. I'll be using them to upgrade my own. So let's get this FTL recharged so we can get out of here. There we go. Yeah, with the other cruiser, when I did a test run, I was able to make it up to Sector 7, so hopefully I'll be able to do better than last time. We got all the way to Sector 8. What is going on here? I hate you plasma storms. Let's see. Okay. Oh my goodness, little ion beam. Annoying drone. Nothing to do but sit and wait. Ah, they took down my shield. Shields are good at stopping enemy missiles as well. Fortunately, these guys got a drone. No, it's too late for that now. You jerks. I guess since they don't have any weapons, we should repair our sheet our not our shields. Our engines. go now we can get out of here okay that was an annoying plasma storm to come through all right these guys are definitely not gonna get away
because their engine is unfortunately located in between their shield and weapon systems. Which are the two things I want to hit. So here we go, time to slice them up. Oh. They seem to have a pretty strong engine area. No matter. They shall still die this day. Yep, there they go. Adios, rebeldes. Let's see, what should I upgrade next? Shields will be a big thing, but first I'm going to get these engines upgraded. Because I definitely want to increase my evade chances. Just so that my Zoltan shield doesn't take too much of a beating early on in the fight. The longer I can preserve that, the longer I'll be immune to uh, missiles and all other sorts of weapons. And I definitely want that. I do not want to take damage. Okay. Let's defend some outposts. Actually, we'll do it this way. I was going to try and target the enemy shields, but since I won't be able to take out the enemy shields with one hit anyway, let's try and do some damage to their weapons first. It's going to make it take three turns instead of two turns, but hey. Let's be a little bit more cautious here. Now their enemy is done for. There we go. Good evading right there. Alright. Another destroyed ship. Racking up the scrap. All about the Skrilla, my man. Alright. Let's keep exploring here. Invade some civilians. Oh, another Zoltan ship, I see. Hmm. Let's see how can I hit the most rooms? Dang. A pretty strong shield on this ship. Hopefully I will not get hit by their little beam weapon there. That would be very nice. Not to take any damage from that. Good. We've taken it offline already. Now they've repaired it to put it back online. Well, too bad. You're toast, you Zoltans. Yeah. Give me that pike beam. Now I got two beam weapons. Alright. Don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. But whatever. Always nice to have free weapons. Indeed, the real reason why I was destroyed in my last playthrough was lack of weaponry. And I also ran out of fuel, making me an easy target for the rebel fleet. Oh man, you guys are trying to run away? Come on. Just showed up to the party. And actually, killing these little auto scouts is the way you can get the first achievement, which is destroy an enemy before your Zoltan shield goes away. Pretty easy. Pretty easy to do. Okay, what do I want next? I don't think I need to upgrade anything quite yet. So let's keep jumping around. Oh, dang it. Jumped right into the sun. How is the rebel ship impervious to the heat? That's what I want to know. Oh, I can actually get across four of them? Maybe? Let's see how this one goes. People will be like, yeah, of course you could. Just gotta aim that. Oh, man. Genius. Uh-oh, here comes some fire. Please not in the engines, or... Unfortunately... In the piloting area. This is gonna leave us... 
an easy target for more solar flares, unfortunately. Come on, repair that. No more in the piloting area. Okay, everywhere else? Sure, why not? And let's get out of here before the entire ship burns to a piece. Okay. We shall aid the ship while fighting fires. I don't know whether opening this area to space was a good idea. Probably not. Let's close this door. Open that one. <laughs> oh man. Um, hmm. Um, you need to get to the med bay. Uh oh no, he's gonna choke to death. This is not good. Oh man. That was real close. Okay, actually power that up. What are you doing? Alright. That was a great halberd beam hit. Okay, actually now we need to redo this part so that we don't set ourselves on fire. Here, get in there. Power up that halberd beam quicker. There we go. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah! Why would you ever decline the request for people to come on board? Like, is there an, a chance they could betray you or something? I don't understand. Alright, so there's going to be a little bit of healing, then we'll jump out of here. Alright, we are ready to jump out of here. As you can see, I've changed who's piloting. Our new man, Cubbin, is piloting. And I put Terrapin on the engines. That way he can use his Zoltan energy boost in the engine room, which is giving me one extra little piece of energy right down there. Let's see what we want to upgrade. Let's go with the shields. It's always nice to be more well shielded against attacks. Although maybe I could have gone for that engine upgrade. Sorry Zoltan dudes. But uh, yeah, I need the scrap from your ship first. I know you're trying to help me, you mercenaries, but... Well, I'm gonna burn you for it. Okay, so let's go down like that again. As you can see, this ion weapon just completely devastated my shields. My Zoltan shields, that is. There we go. We should be done for... Sorry, no surrender today, my good man. Alright, 18 scrap. That's what I was looking for. I'm gonna kill you, rip your ship to shreds, and take more scrap. That's how I do it. Alright, since I have no drones or drone control system, let's sell all that stuff off. Even though it's kind of a rip... Normally drones cost 8 scrap, and they're only giving you 4 for it, but hey. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Hmm, pirates or an uncharted nebula? Let's check out what's going on in the nebula. Alright. Let's actually upgrade our weapon system. That way I'll be able to use my missiles, just in case there's any ships with two shields on. Alright, let's attack some pirates. Excellent, they don't have two shields. This will allow us to laser them up. I wonder if there's a way you could like put your laser right through this cross point and hit all four areas. 
That would be quite awesome. Yeah, these rock dudes are done. Another easy battle for the Zoltan cruiser. This Zoltan shield makes these first couple of sectors so easy. But the later sectors are quite difficult. Unless you have some better weapons to back up this halberd beam. And indeed, it's very costly to get your ship up to the same status as say the Kestrel or any of the even the Federation cruiser because you start off with so low in all of your upgrades so it takes it costs a lot to upgrade your ship to be in tip-top shape but hey we're still in the first two sectors so it's gonna be quite easy here let's keep jumping through this nebula hopefully we'll find some distress signals that we can help out with Maybe a store where we can sell all these extra beam weapons. Oh, some Federation ships are looking for me. How kind. Luckily, all these enemies still only have one shield. So that's going to make it easy for us to conserve missiles. This Leto missile is like the weakest missile. I believe it is the weakest missile in the game. It only does one damage. So if we really want to use it to destroy enemies, we're going to have to have a lot of them stockpiled. We'll not accept surrender. Burn, sir. You dirty rebels. The rebellion ends today. Alright. Oh no. Plasma storm. We find you repugnant. Oh, you don't tell me I'm repugnant. We tell you that you rock people are repugnant. Ready to get a laser across the face. Ah, oh, these heavy plasma weapons doing extra damage to my shields. Some fuel? That's a lot of fuel, but right now I'm looking for some more scrap. So let's keep blasting away at these enemies. Alright, my shields should still be up. And now they're dead. That's what you get for calling us repugnant, you assholes. Now who's repugnant? Your bloated corpse in the cold void of space. That's repugnant. All right. Let's attack some more rebels. Uh, unfortunately, they got away. Need to upgrade those sensors. Ah, store. Excellent. Let's see if we can get some be some not beam weapons, some laser weapons. Let's see what does this do. A super ion weapon. Could be useful. Drone recovery? Not really. Maybe. Not really. None of those really appeal to me. So let's just... kind of want to even stockpile some more missiles, but I don't think we really need to. Let's see. So the pike beam has a longer beam attack area, but this is going to do... this does double damage to systemless rooms. Hmm. Stick with the whole beam for now. That way you can more quickly destroy an enemy ship if that's necessary. Alright, let's keep jumping around this system. Destroying enemies wherever we find them. And we are running out of oxygen. How come you guys don't tell me that I don't have the oxygen on? Oh, that's right. There is a way to get it all the way across these four. There we go. Boom. Done. Easy. These guys with no shields are... 
quite easily destroyed. Oh, a hull missile. Let's see, what does this do? Two damage per shot. That does one damage per shot. It takes 17 seconds to charge. Well, let's see how long did the halberd beam take to charge. 17 seconds? Okay. So, yeah, it could be a good thing. They can work in conjunction together. Okay, still nobody out here. It's been pretty easy sector so far. As predicted. Let's jump over here. Keep on exploring. Nope. Well, that was quite a simple sector. So let's jump to our next one. We have a choice between civilian and Mantis homeworlds. Definitely going to choose the civilian sector. And since this the, is the end of sector 2, I'll be cutting it here. So join me next time as I go to the civilian sector. Until then, take care of yourself.